Item number SCP-594 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-594 is kept at Bioresearch Sector Beep, located on 54 kilometers squared of mountainous mangeland, located 35 kilometers from Beep, Alaska. Officially, Sector Beep is listed as a munitions factory and testing facility. The perimeter defenses and access gates are monitored remotely at all times with two level 2 guards posted at each gate in 8 hour shifts. All fencing enclosed paddocks have static discharges laced at 2 cm intervals. Main research enclosure and pens are to be cleaned on a daily basis to avoid buildup of excrement and allow for necessary repairs. Due to possible electrocution hazard, the following procedures are to be observed when interacting with SCP-594. All metallic items and electrical devices, including wristwatches and jewelry, must be removed and placed within provided plastic containers prior to donning protective gear. Prior to entering paddock, staff are to advise to wear, at minimum, Tesla armor, heavy-duty work gloves, ear protection, goggles, and rubber-soled boots. Also, staff are advised to keep on hand tobacco products, specifically skull-style chewing tobacco or pipe tobacco, candies, dried fruit, a good quality alcohol as a treat for 594-1. Holding pens and fences are to be kept properly maintained at all times. Wool of mature adults, two years and older, is to be kept is to be kept shorn to a length of 2 mm by ceramic shears twice yearly and bailed in in anti-static bags and strict adherence to guidelines set out in document 594S. Under no circumstances are shears with electrical motors to be used for shearing. Exceptions are 594-1 and 594-2 who are to be wooed loose wool plucked out by hand as per guidelines under document 594-12A. And no attempts at sharing be made on either animal. Due to the nature of SCP-594, specifically 594-2, all personnel with contact to SCP-594 and its byproducts may be subject to full cavity searches and all personnel must submit to pat down search metal detector scan before for leaving the enclosure. Feeding of the approved formulated grain hay mix outlined in document 594F is to be done twice daily with fresh water and mineral licks made readily available around all parts of the enclosure. Foraging and grazing outside of regular feedings are to be carefully monitored. Description Discovered in the Altai Mountains during routine fact-finding mission, SCP-594 is a flock of feral sheep of an unknown breed resembling a wild Agali sheep in general build with a thick fleece like that of a domestic merino around 135 cm at the shoulder and weighing 195 kilograms on average. Gestation and reproductive cycles are similar to most domesticated sheep with ewes reaching sexual maturity at 6 to 8 months of age and rams at 4 to 6 months. They enter root twice annually, typically in late spring and early autumn, but breeding can occur year-round. Most ewes give birth to a single lamb or twins, with triplets being exceedingly rare. 2% of all recorded births to date only documented case of triplets which survived to full maturity is 594-1 and his siblings 2 and 3. General coloration ranges from pure white to dark blue-gray wool with a metallic sheen appearing once they reach full maturity, typically 2 years of age. Only 3 animals, the aforementioned triplet, display atypical wool colors. Both sexes have horns with Uncastrated males having spiraling horns measuring 190 centimeters in length, the large documented span belonging to 594-2 at a length of 247.4 centimeters. Females and weathers 
have curved horns measuring 20 centimeters. The horns, hooves, and wool of older animals have unusually high concentrations of various metals, along with traces of gold alloys. Examinations of newly butchered animals have revealed that SCP-594 skeleton also has large amounts of various metals present within the bone matrix. The sheep are highly aggressive and territorial in nature, often attacking unfamiliar personnel without warning or provocation. They will continue to behave in this manner until steps are taken to publicly placate 594-1 which is normally done by giving it treats such as tobacco or candies. Once this is done, the flock will become docile and behave like normal domestic sheep. The exceptions to this pacifying behavior are 594, 2 and 3 as outlined in the addendum on each. In contrast to adults, lambs typically are very easy to handle and display curiosity towards new objects and people in the paddock, often attempting to play with personnel but will flee if threatened. The sound of a panicked lamp will cause nearby adults to attack violently, so caution is to be taken not to spook lambs. Lambs also show a tendency to form attachments to certain humans, often following around the paddock and begging for food or attention especially noticeable among bottled reared lambs. Such attachment often lasts even after sheep has reached maturity, as seen in the case of two and Dr. Merriweather. At present, the flock numbers 1,314 mature sheep plus 448 lambs and immature sheep, with selective culling of unwanted animals annually after during the wooding season to maintain these numbers. The only animals exempt from culling are 594, 1, 2, and 3, or any lambs exhibiting similar traits. Deviation from the 1314-448 pattern for more than a year's time will cause all mature lambs to date or expunge. Failure to follow the pattern for two years during preliminary research resulted in the deaths of deep D-class personnel and beep researchers, as well as near-breach containment by 594-2. The defining characteristic of the sheep is that they are able to generate a substantial amount of static electricity simply by the friction caused during daily activities. The resultant charge is typically discharged at random, with mature specimens producing arc flashes that have been recorded at 1000 amps or more. Due to the electrocution hazard, persons now interacting with SCP-594 are advised to follow guidelines fully outlined in document 594-4H. When faced with a threat, the flock will become highly agitated and mature ewes will attempt to form a ring around any lambs, rubbing their bodies together to generate an even greater static charge between them. Because this defensive behavior is especially pronounced when ewes are birthing, it is standard procedure to isolate all pregnant ewes and newborn lambs from the rest of the flock until a week after birthing. In addition to defense against predators, rams also appear to use their discharges as a type of dominance display, with the older and stronger rams able to produce more powerful discharges during their dance. When in route, Rams will fight against themselves, performing the stopping dances prior to engaging rivals. These dances are often accompanied by excessive discharges, resulting in a rapid ionization of air and giving SCP-594 its local name, Thunder Sheep. Ground sensors have also detected telluric currents during these dances, and older rams creating extremely complicated patterns that often resemble data expunged. Free martens, ewes which are behaviorally masculine and lack functional ovaries, will also perform stomping dances, but the patterns produced, while equally as complicated, show a marked difference from those created by rams. To date, weathers have not been observed to engage in this behavior. Another trait exhibited by SCP-594 is an inherent ability to walk on air, or more accurately, levitate themselves at a distance on an average of 2 to 4 meters vertically via manipulation of electromagnetic fields. 
Lambs and younger animals have a tendency to lose control mid-flight, often falling from high cliffs, which can result in death of the animal. This may be the way the log called out weaker animals in the wild, but more research is needed. Research has been done on the properties of SCP-594 wool, milk, meat, and horn. Results of these tests are pending for documentation. However, the meat, milk, and resulting dairy products have proven to be fit for human consumption. Approval to include thunder mutton and various cheeses made from the milk of SCP-594 in the Foundation's standardized menu still pending. Data pending.